Marjorie owns a farm. There are six apple trees and seven lemon trees on her land. Each apple tree has 12 fruits, and each lemon tree has 10 fruits. How many oranges are there in total? Zero. We didn't say that Marjorie has any orange trees. Marjorie inserts her diamond ring in a glass bottle and closes it with the help of a cork. Then she takes the ring out of the bottle without taking out the cork or breaking the bottle. Can you guess how she did it? Easy! She pushed the cork inside the bottle and then took out the ring. Marjorie lost her smartwatch somewhere in the fields. She uses her phone to detect the current location of her gadget. The phone draws three possible routes, but only one of them will actually take her to the smartwatch. Can you help Marjorie choose the right way? Route A is correct. Early in the morning, Marjorie enters one of the farm's barns. Oh no! Someone broke all the bottles with cherry juice! She asks her three workers to clean up the mess. Meanwhile, she interrogates them. Who did it? Marjorie asks. Frank replies, "Uh, Yesterday in the afternoon, I put all the cherry juice bottles on the shelves and left home. I don't know what happened. Phil says, I didn't feel well last night, so I didn't touch the juice, and I went to bed early. And Anna says, Yesterday, I painted the fence all day. I didn't even enter the barn. Who's lying? Anna. She said she painted the fence, but it doesn't look freshly painted at all. After a long working day, Marjorie wants to relax and goes to the public swimming pool. She spots something really weird in the shower. One of these ladies is not from this planet. Can you guess who? The third lady. She's using ketchup to wash her hair instead of shampoo. Marjorie meets her three best friends by the pool, Megan, Sarah, and Raven. One of them gave birth to triplets four years ago. Can you guess who exactly? Raven. Take a look at her hands. She's wearing three DIY bracelets with the word mom. The triplets are now four years old and her jewelry looks like something that they could have crafted. Marjorie and her besties go to a concert, but only one of these people is a real musician. Can you guess who? It's the second guy. The first lady put her sheet music upside down. After the concert, Marjorie takes a walk down the local street. There are 100 houses numbered from 1 to 100 on the street. Can you count how many times they use the digit 9 to number all the houses? The correct answer is 19. The mystery can be solved using simple math. The digit 9 should occur in the following numbers. All we need to do is to count the number of nines in this sequence. Marjorie comes home late at night and sees something creepy in her living room. Can you see it too? There are three ghosts in this room. What about the warehouse? Can you spot any ghosts here? Hello! Let's take a look at the bedroom.
Ooh, there are five ghosts. Can someone call Ghostbusters? The next morning, Marjorie goes picking apples on her farm. Suddenly, someone spills cherry juice on her head. She noticed that someone climbed on a tree to pull that prank, but she didn't see this person's face. So Marjorie interrogates three people working on the farm that day. Frank says, I was watering vegetables far away from the apple trees. Phil says, I was in the kitchen preparing ingredients for the lemon jam production, just like you asked me. And Nina says, I was in the garden picking lemons for the jam. Marjorie figures out who did it right away. What about you? It was Phil. He tore his shirt, and a piece of fabric got stuck on the branch of an apple tree. A group of tourists arrives at the farm, and Marjorie gives them a fun tour. Unfortunately, one of these guests is a thief. Can you guess who? This lady. She's sneaking cash from another person's purse. It's raining heavily all day, so Marjorie stays home alone and fries pancakes in the kitchen. Suddenly, she realizes that she had forgotten to switch off the TV in the living room and goes there. In a minute, Marjorie returns to the kitchen and gets speechless. Why? Can you guess? When Marjorie left the kitchen, one prepared pancake was on the dish. But now it's gone. All the windows are locked. So who did it? Suddenly, Marjorie hears weird sounds from the basement. She goes there and finds the thieves. A family of raccoons broke into her house and sneaked the pancake. Can you count the exact number of animals in the basement? The task was to count the number of all animals, so the correct answer is 7. There are 4 raccoons, 1 cat, and 2 rats. The next day, Marjorie goes into her sunflower field to check how the flowers are doing. Can you spot what's odd here? There's a socket built into the ground. Marjorie goes to Megan's birthday party. One of the guests has the number 2 written on his forehead, and the other has 3. Megan offers everyone a game. All three of you have a number on your forehead. The number on one of your foreheads is the sum of the other numbers. All the numbers are unique. Now, you can't talk to each other. If you guess your number correctly, you won't have to wash dishes. So, can you guess Marjorie's number? It could either be 1 or 5, but if her number was 1, the guy with 3 would see that and guess his own number. Therefore, Marjorie has the number 5 on her forehead. The next day, Marjorie enters the farm's main barn. It's time to plant flowers in larger pots. She takes off her diamond ring to protect it from dirt. Marjorie puts it on the table. The process is almost finished, but suddenly Marjorie's phone rings and she leaves the barn to answer the call. After a while, she comes back and sees that the ring is missing. There are only three people on the farm today, Frank, Nina, and Megan. So Marjorie says, one of you has taken my ring. What were you doing when I left the barn? Frank replies, I was in the bathroom washing pumpkins with Nina. Nina replies, yes, we were washing the vegetables. And Megan says, I was just taking selfies with pumpkins. Who took the ring? Look at this bird cage. It was open. The canary bird flew out and took the ring. There are three sets of lab equipment on Marjorie's table. Can you sort the odd one out?
This one doesn't have a flame. Marjorie throws a harvest festival at her farm. Her friends and co-workers chill all together. Can you spot any zombies among them? This dancer in the bushes doesn't look alive. As evening came, bright stars and a new moon showed up in the sky. Now Marjorie has to choose one of these three tunnels to escape. There's a family of creepy werewolves hanging out inside the first tunnel. The second tunnel is a home for mutant bats. They feed on humans and stay awake 24-7. And there is an unknown monster hiding in the third tunnel. Unknown because no one had ever returned from there alive to tell. Which tunnel is more or less safe to enter? Marjorie should choose the first tunnel. It's a new moon, so the werewolves are not dangerous yet. Wendy is an art teacher. This morning, someone pranked her by putting glue on her coffee mug. She questioned three suspects. Blair says, I didn't do it. I was too busy painting these beautiful flowers. Jason says, I overslept and came to the studio later than you. And Zara says, Why would I do that? You're my favorite teacher. Who did it? It was Zara. There's a glue pen in her pocket. Wendy gives her students a task and leaves the studio. After a while, she returns and sees this painting. She says, wow, who painted this masterpiece? Three students claim to be the author of the painting. Can you guess who tells the truth? To solve this mystery, we should take a look at their palettes. Only this student has all colors that match the painting. Wendy goes outdoors to buy some food for lunch. Suddenly, she sees a cyclist lying on the ground. Can you guess what happened here? In fact, the car hit the ketchup bottle. The cyclist just fell nearby and got stained. Wendy receives a delivery, three identical boxes with artist supplies. All boxes are labeled incorrectly. Wendy needs to label all boxes correctly by opening just one of them. Can you help her? Since all three boxes contain the wrong items, Wendy should open the third box. If it contains watercolor, the first box will definitely have brushes, and the second box, watercolors and brushes. And if she finds brushes in the third box, the first one will contain both watercolors and brushes, while the second one, watercolors only. The delivery guy walks outside and yells, Hey, call the police! Someone stole my car! The police begin an investigation and find these three suspects. One of them is a thief. Can you guess who? The first guy is just coloring his fence, and the third one is a gardener. But the second guy is hiding a lockpick in his shirt pocket, so he's the thief. Wendy comes to a party. Three guys invite her to dance, but one of them is a werewolf. Can you guess who? The first guy is just wearing a werewolf costume. The second one has some scratches, but it proves nothing. But the third one has a real wolf tail. After the party, Wendy wakes up in a cell made of ice. She only has a pickaxe in her hand. Meanwhile, her best friend Zach is locked in a similar cell with a drill. Can you predict who will escape? Only Wendy will escape. Zach can't use a drill without electricity. The next day, Wendy arrives at the art studio. She leaves her takeaway coffee at the desk and goes to the toilet. 
Wendy returns and finds out that someone had drunk her beverage. She checks the cup surface for fingerprints, but she only finds her own traces. Wendy questions three suspects among students. Blair says, Sorry, I've been washing my brushes in the sink. I didn't look at your desk. Jason says, Sorry, I don't like coffee. And besides, I've been streaming stories for my followers. And Robin says, I was changing in the dressing room to be a model for portrait class. Can you spot the thief? It was Jason. Take a look at his back pocket. He's hiding rubber gloves. That's why he didn't leave any fingerprints. Wendy receives an emergency call. Someone had stolen paintings from her art studio gallery. Wendy interrogates three suspects among the visitors. Sarah says, I came here to buy some of your paintings, but when I entered the gallery, the walls were empty. Jill says, I went blind seven years ago, so I didn't see anything. I only visit this gallery to use your toilet. And Robert says, Why would I rob this place? I'm the major investor. Who's lying? Jill, if she's really blind, why did she bring this photo camera with her? Wendy carries out entrance exams for art students. One of these three artists is left-handed. Can you guess who? It's the third guy. It's easier for lefties to hold a palette in their right hand and paint with their left. This way, his left hand works and the right one stays static. During exams, one guy named Bobby gets very sick and faints. Wendy calls the ambulance and takes him to the hospital. She's just met Bobby, so she doesn't know his relatives. But still, Wendy manages to notice his wife in the hospital right away. Can you spot her too? It's the first lady. They have identical tattoos, and the third lady has a similar mole on her cheek, so she's probably Bobby's sister. Doctors suspect poisoning, so they keep Bobby in the hospital to make tests. Meanwhile, Wendy returns to the studio and questions three witnesses among the applicants. Sheila says, Bobby didn't look healthy in the first place. I don't blame him. Everyone was stressed out during exams. Sam says, I have no idea who poisoned him, but this person is heartless. And Xavier says, I think Bobby's just pretending to be ill to get accepted out of pity. The next day, Bobby calls Wendy with the test results. He was poisoned. Wendy calls the police right away and they arrest one of the witnesses. Can you guess who and why? Sam. He knew about the poison before the test results were ready. The next morning, Wendy enters the studio and sees that someone has left a hot mess. Canvases are torn and paints are spilled all over the floor. Can you count all the brushes in this room? Thirteen. What about the glass jars? Can you count the exact number? There are eight glass jars in this studio, including this broken one. Wendy asks her three students, who's responsible for this mess? Nina replies, I think it was David. He never washes his hands and clothes. He's such a weirdo. David says, it was Nina. She's just jealous because her paintings weren't selected for an art exhibition. And Amber says, I don't know who did it. Yesterday, I was feeling sick and stayed home. Who's responsible for this mess? Take a look at the canvas frames. They're all signed. The only canvas that wasn't torn has David's name on it. Therefore, he ruined the studio and his rival's works. Wendy asks her students to the park for an en plein air class. Can you see any weird details in this area?
This is an apple tree, but why are there so many oranges under it? Two students have painted almost identical pictures. Can you help Wendy find three differences? Here they are. What about these portraits? Can you spot three differences? Over here. After the class, Wendy is trying to leave the park and gets lost. She has to walk through this confusing maze. Can you help her find the way out? Only the first path is correct. On the way home, Wendy enters a supermarket. Can you count the number of cacti? Six. Someone had broken the most expensive car in the parking lot near Wendy's apartment building. The police interrogate three witnesses to find out who is guilty. Carl says, this is my car. I parked it as usual and went home. Wendy woke me up with her call. Gia says, I was just having a yoga class in a studio nearby. This car belongs to my ex-boyfriend Carl. Too bad he loved this car more than me. And Peter says, Carl's my neighbor, but he's not my best friend if you know what I mean. I've been working all day and just arrived. Who broke Carl's car? It was Gia. She's hiding a baseball bat inside her yoga mat. Look at this picture. Where is the bank robber hiding? He's over there, behind the bushes. The bank robber has managed to escape from the police. Try to figure out where he's hiding now. See that maintenance hole? That's where the criminal is. This robber is just too fast. He's escaped again and is now hiding in one of these fitting rooms. Help the police find him. He must be in the middle fitting room. See that bag with all the cash he's stolen? Look at this image attentively and try to figure out what's wrong here. In reality, the guy is holding a tube of toothpaste in his left hand, but in the reflection in the mirror, he's got nothing in his hand. How about this picture? What's wrong here? Um, is this lady charging her cat? This picture looks off too, but what exactly seems strange? It's the girl in the front. She isn't reflected in the water. Now the next image to challenge your observation skills. Does anything strike you as odd in this picture? Look at the TVs. They show different things in reality and in the reflection in the mirror. Can you figure out what this means? Right you are. F plus arm equals farm. Now this one is a tiny bit tougher. What does this rebus mean?
storm, TH. It's thunderstorm. And how about this one? Can you crack it easily? Re plus boot equals reboot. Ew, insects! But can you guess this word? How many ants are there? 10. So the correct answer is 10 plus ants equals 10 ants. I have eight fingers and two thumbs, but I'm not alive. What am I? I'm a pair of gloves. Which person is different from the others? Right you are, this one with shorter hair. Try to figure out which emoji is the odd one. The one at the bottom, it looks pretty angry. I challenge you to find a cat that's different from the rest. Right, it's the one closer to the bottom, facing away from you. Which image is the odd one? This little rebel is turned in the opposite direction. Have you noticed anything wrong in this picture? The ball. They're playing soccer, not basketball. Which cow is different from the others? The one waving at you, of course. How about these burgers? Do any of them stand out? See, this burger is smaller than the rest. There's something wrong with this picture. What exactly? It's the river. It seems to just disappear under the bridge. Is there a hole in the ground there? Which emoji is the odd one? The one with its mouth missing. There's something that doesn't seem quite right in this picture. But what? The rainbow. Its colors are a bit messed up. Can you find a pig among these birdies? Here it is, hiding behind the bush. Which emoji is different from the others? It's the unwinking one, with both of its eyes open. These smiley faces look so cool, all but one. This emoji isn't exactly all that smiley. There's something wrong with this keyboard. Can you figure out what exactly?
There are two eights on it, but no nines. Which pooch is the odd one? This doggy seems to be friendlier than the rest. Find the odd avocado. Right, it's the one with the heart-shaped pit. Which emoji is different from the others? This little guy is just a wannabe. It isn't a unicorn. It's a horse that's probably dreaming of becoming a unicorn. Can you find the odd emoji? The one at the bottom seems to be even more in love than the rest. The hearts in its eyes are bigger than what other emojis have. One of these music notes is different. Which one? Ah, now I see it. What's wrong with this picture? The calendar claims it's August 2018, but the computer is sure it's still August 2017. Can you spot a teddy bear without a hat? Here it is! There's something strange about this picture, but what exactly? One of the birds doesn't have a reflection. Creepy. Which sheep couple is different from the others? This one. The lady sheep is facing away from her admirer. Amy was walking through a forest and saw three portals in front of her. Each could take her to a different place. The first one would send her to the moon. The second portal would move her to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. And the last one would take her 30,000 years back, when large dinosaurs were still roaming our planet. Uh -oh. Which portal should she choose to survive? The third one. Dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. Amy will be safe there. John was looking for a gift for his mom at a shopping mall when he noticed that one of the stores had a mysterious extension. It led to a vault filled with diamonds and gold jewelry. As soon as the guy walked in, the store owner locked him in the room. He told John he had to eat one of the three cookies on the table and managed to get out of the room. Then he'll be rewarded generously. The first cookie would turn John into an animal. The second cookie would turn him into a giant. And the last one would make him invisible. Which cookie should John eat? The first one. He can turn into some small animal, like a hamster, and squeeze through the bars. That's how he'd get out and win the gold. Mr. Lawrence called the police. He said someone had taken his car for a joyride, crashed it into a streetlight, and ran away. The man was sure it had been one of his neighbors. The police questioned three of them. Ivy answered she'd been at work and arrived home only in the evening. Cameron told the police he'd been helping his dad remove old stuff from the attic. And Aaron claimed he'd been hanging out with his friends, eating pizza, and watching the latest series. After listening to all the suspects, the police officers arrested one of them. Who was it? It was Cameron. There's no attic in his house. He invented the whole story. Naomi invited her friends to a pajama party at her house. 
The only thing she asked the girls was, Don't enter my brother's room. He loves playing tricks on people. And once you get there, you might not be able to get out. They were gossiping and watching viral TikTok videos when one of Naomi's friends asked, Wait, where's Rebecca? Meanwhile, Rebecca went to the kitchen to drink some water, but she got lost and ended up in Naomi's brother's room. The door closed behind her back, and it wouldn't open. The girl noticed a password lock with letters on it. Rebecca looked around and spotted a piece of paper on the table with five numbers on it. Three, seven, six, nine, two. The girl thought for a while, then entered a combination of letters and got out of the room. What was the password? The code was the first letters of the five numbers, T-S-S-N-T. An expensive ring went missing from a jewelry store on the first floor of a large shopping mall. The manager called the police. After watching the CCTV camera footage, they had three suspects, a student, a woman with a daughter, and an elderly man. The student said he had agreed to meet with his friend next to the jewelry store. I didn't even set foot inside, the woman said. I was at the movies with my daughter here in the mall when everything happened. The elderly man said, Yes, I did enter the store. I felt unwell and asked for a glass of water, but I didn't take the ring. Who's lying? Look, all the movies running at that time had a 16 plus age rating. The woman wouldn't have been able to watch any of them with her young daughter so she must have lied. While Miss Virginia Dell was away on her summer vacation, her house got robbed. Three people were caught on the security camera and they became the main suspects. Ayla, Virginia's best friend, said, Uh, I've been coming to pick up mail. Sophia, the housemaid, said, I've come every Wednesday to clean the house. And Danica, the gardener, said, I come every Friday to take care of the garden. Who robbed Miss Dell? It must have been Sophia, the housemaid. She said that she cleaned the house every week. But look at the house. It's very dusty. She's shady, and she must be the main suspect. Last Friday, Mary sneaked out to a party without asking her mom's permission. Her mom found out about it and grounded Mary for a month. No friends, no parties. Two weeks after that, there was another party, and Mary couldn't miss it. The morning after the second party, Miss Roberts walked into Mary's room and asked her what she'd been doing in the evening. I was solving my new puzzle, the girl answered. Mary got grounded for another month. Why? Take a look at the puzzle. She's barely started it. It doesn't look like an evening-long activity. Jane was a straight-A college student, but her friends hadn't heard from her in a week. When she didn't show up for an exam, her best friend got concerned. She came mm. to visit, but Jane wasn't home. So, she reported that Jane had been kidnapped. There were three suspects, all of them Jane's ex-boyfriends. Michael, Miguel, and Daniel. All of them denied being in any contact with the girl. Who should be arrested? The note on the fridge is a clue. It looks like a recipe, but it's not. It's the number of letters you should take from each word. Two-fourths of milk gives us M-I. Then we have C-H, then A, E, and L. It seems that Michael has something to do with Jane's disappearance. I'll be showing you combinations of emojis, and your task is to guess what fruit or vegetable they stand for. Here's the first, very simple one. What do you think it is? So there's an egg and a plant. So, of course, it's an eggplant. The next one. This time, it's not so obvious. Do you have any ideas? It's a ladyfinger. Good job! 
Off to the next one. I wonder if you can get this one right. A car and a rat. A carrot, of course. Now let's add some letters to help you. What about this one? What's your bet? O and a leaf. That's an olive, of course. Okay, here's the next one, and I know you'll get it right. Some sugar, or rather something sweet, and a potato. Of course, it's a sweet potato. Okay, now it's getting a bit more complicated. What's your call? There are two types of people who love it and those who can't stand it. It's cauliflower. Okay, and here's the last one for you. Q, a comb, and a bear. Cucumber. Great job with these ones. Esme was having a walk in the forest and got lost. She was wandering around until she found the road leading to the house of a witch, her old friend. Esme approached the house, but the witch wasn't there. Instead, there were four open portals. On the table, Esme found the witch's to-do list. Can you figure out which portal the witch entered? The first two tasks on the witch's to-do list are completed so she's most likely left to catch some frogs. The number in brackets must mean the number of sides each portal has. 10 is a star, 3 is a triangle, 4 is a square, and a 0 is a circle. To catch some frogs, she must have used the portal that looks like a square. Cindy was a kind and beautiful girl in her junior year. Two best friends, Dylan and Kobe, wanted to ask her out to prom. So the guys decided to ask Cindy's best friend which of them likes Cindy more. The girl didn't want to share her best friend's secrets, but she gave them a hint. Cindy loves pizza, but she can't stand burgers. She likes to go to the pool, but never goes to the gym. Her favorite animal is the llama, but she's afraid of zebras. Which of the boys does Cindy like? Cindy's friend wanted to give the guy a clue, so we have to look for some pattern. All the things Cindy likes have double letters in them. Dylan has the double L in his name, so he must be the one Cindy likes more. Kate woke up in a dungeon and couldn't remember what had happened to her. The place didn't look safe, so she decided to get out. The door was open and she left the room, walking down the hallway. Several minutes later, Kate stopped in front of two elevators and one door with an exit sign on it. Is it the way out? In any case, the door was locked and required a password. Can you guess what the password is? Pay attention to the numbers on the elevators. They say 13 and 11, so the password must be 1311. In a small, quiet town, young men started to go missing. The police had been looking for them for many months and couldn't find any traces. But one day, they discovered an abandoned basement in an old swimming pool. Inside, there were three young men who claimed they had been held there for three months. One of them was the kidnapper. But who? Look. One guy doesn't have facial hair whatsoever, and another man has grown a beard since he hasn't shaved in three months. But this guy is freshly shaved, so he must be the kidnapper. Oliver is terrible at packing. Whenever he goes somewhere, he always takes stuff he'll never need, so he needs your help with some packing. Today, he's packing to go camping in the forest. Take a look at his bag and decide what he won't need on the trip.
look, there's an electric hairdryer. There's no electricity in the forest, so he can definitely leave it at home. Now look at what Oliver has packed for his vacation in Egypt, where he'll be staying in an all-inclusive hotel. Is there anything he won't need? Is that laundry detergent? Yeah, you don't wash your clothes yourself in an all-inclusive hotel. Now he's off to his girlfriend's place to spend the weekend with her. What does he have in his bag that he really won't need there? Is it a roll of toilet paper? I think it's very likely that his girlfriend has that. Oliver is going to visit his grandparents and stay with them for a week. They live on a farm where there are cows and horses. Oliver is going to chill and do some gardening. Now check his suitcase. What's there that he won't need? I don't think he'll need his tuxedo. He'll most likely be wearing some casual clothes all the time. Yasmin is wandering through a forest and sees a spooky house. As soon as she steps inside, the door behind her back slams shut. It's the house of an old magician who doesn't like visitors. But there's a chance for strangers to escape. There are three drinks. The red one will turn Yasmin into a mouse for an hour. The green one will allow her to fly for an hour. The blue one will make her breathe fire for an hour. Which drink should Yasmin choose if she wants to get out? Yasmin should drink the red liquid. She'll turn into a mouse and will be able to escape through this little hole in the front door. Okay, it's time to check how sleuthy you are. And I have a couple of riddles for you to crack, like a walnut. Here's the first one. Detective Callum is the best detective in town who has caught many criminals. Of course, some people don't like him, so he must be mindful. One day, he ordered his usual pack of donuts, which he eats when he thinks about twisted cases. Half an hour later, the doorbell rang, and there were two packs of donuts delivered. One of them must be poisoned, but which uh -oh. one? Look, this box is the same as the empty donut boxes in his office, which he always orders. So this box must be safe. But the other delivered box is very suspicious. Mm-mm, I wouldn't eat that. Sophie has everything in particular places in her bedroom. But she is the only person who knows what is where. Quinn, Sophie's sister, asks Sophie to lend her a necklace for a party. The necklace was safely stored in a little box, but the box was hidden. So Sophie drew a map for Quinn to uh -oh. help her find it. Can you help Quinn to find the right box? The note is basically a map of Sophie's room. You just have to find the object she drew. Following the pattern, here's a box. The necklace must be there. Nova is taking piano lessons, but she doesn't like them. Her mother insists on her playing a musical instrument and makes her practice every day. During the summer holidays, Nova's mom went on a two-week-long business trip and instructed her daughter to practice daily. The girl agreed, but in fact, she never even opened the piano during that time. When Mrs. Adams returned and Nova told her that she had been practicing, her mother didn't believe her. Why not? The piano's cover is dusty, which means it's been a while since Nova opened it the last time. Do you think you know countries well? <laughs> Let's see. Yay! I'll show you several famous landmarks, and your task is to guess which country it belongs to. Okay? Let's start out easy. What do you say here?
Of course, this is Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, from New York City, New York. Great job! This one is easy peasy too. What do you say? It's the Eiffel Tower from Paris, France. These are one of the most ancient structures in the modern world. Can you name and locate them? These are the Pyramids of Giza, located in Egypt. Here's the next one. Can you locate it properly? This is Sydney Opera House from Sydney, Australia. Did you get it right? Another famous landmark, Machu Picchu. But where is it located? Do you remember? This beautiful landmark belongs in Peru. Gabriella is an archaeologist who explores the old ruins of Greece. One day, as she was working, she walked through a tunnel, but at the end of it, there was just a dead end. Oh no! Luckily, there were three doors, but only one of them would lead her out of the tunnel. There is a sign with three hints. One of the statements is wrong. Which door should Gabriella pick? 1. Door 2 will not lead you to freedom. 2. Door 1 or 3 will lead you to freedom. 3. Door 1 or 2 will lead you to freedom. One of the statements is wrong. If the wrong one is the first statement, then door 2 is the one Gabriella needs. But then the second statement is wrong too. If statement 2 is wrong, then door 2 is the one leading to freedom. But then the first statement is wrong too. If statement 3 is wrong, then door 3 is the one Gabriella needs. In this case, the other two statements are correct as well. So, door 3 it is. Mr. Morris is a landlord of an apartment building with a no-pets policy. None of the residents are allowed to have any kind of pets. One resident reported that they have been hearing a cat in one of the neighboring apartments. Look at these two apartments. In which one of them does a cat live? Look, in this apartment, the walls and sofa are scratched on the bottom. These aren't human traces, so the cat must be living here. Several months later, there was another complaint. This time, someone heard a dog. Mr. Morris inspected two neighboring apartments again, looking for traces. In which apartment does a dog live? It must be this apartment. Look, the resident forgot to hide the dog leash. Okay, let's get back and locate a couple of more landmarks. What's the home country of the Taj Mahal? Taj Mahal is located in Agra, India. Okay, what is this, and where do you think it is? It's the Great Wall of China, located in… well, I think China would be the safe bet. Can you recognize this construction? What country can you find it in? It's the Colosseum from Rome, Italy. Maeve needs to log into her mom's laptop to delete the file she accidentally sent her. She doesn't know the passcode, but her mom always leaves notes with passcodes around in case she forgets it herself. Here is the only note Maeve could find. Can you help her guess the passcode? The key is to count the number of figures on each picture. There is one circle, so the first digit is 1. 
There are four big triangles, but they form three more little triangles, so the second digit is 7. Then three squares and two circles. The passcode is 1732. Another day, another passcode to crack. One week later, Maid needed to get into her mom's computer again, this time to delete the email with her not-so-good grades. The previous passcode didn't work, her mom had already changed it. But here is a new note with the new hints. These are the names of Maeve's family members, but what are the digits? The first name and the digit next to it give a hint on how to crack it. It's Maeve's name, and the number 5 must indicate the number of letters in it. So, other digits are the numbers of letters in other names. So, 5 for Maeve, 8 for Virginia, 4 for John, and 6 for Oliver. Nicole hosted a party in honor of her cat's birthday, and she invited several friends over. Karis didn't want to go there because she wanted a free evening to play her new video game. So she lied that her mom had grounded her and made her clean the room. To make it up to her best friend, the next day, Karis invited Nicole for a movie night. When Nicole arrived, she understood that Karis had made an excuse not to go to the party. How did she figure it out? Look, Karis's room is a total mess. If her mom forced her to clean it the previous night, it'd be way neater. Arden is on an expedition in a winter forest, and she got lost. Her devices froze, and she didn't know where to go. So she was walking straight, hoping to see something familiar. But then, she came across three ways, all of which seemed dangerous. The way straight goes past the cave where a huge brown bear is sleeping. The road on the left goes through the place where a pack of hungry wolves live. The right road will lead her to the lake with thin ice. Which way should Arden go? She should go straight and keep quiet. The bear is sleeping and most probably won't even wake up unless she makes too much of a noise. And a few more of these. This is the Acropolis. But where is it from? The Acropolis is located in Athens, Greece. This is a famous castle. Do you know where it is? The one and only Neuschwanstein Castle is nowhere else but in Germany. The last one of those for today. You've got this. Can you locate this landmark? It's Stonehenge, and it's in Wilshire, England. Hey, good work! 